Hi Ross, Lifetime Natural Bodybuilder. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate a very quick, easy and affordable high carb meal. Perfect for after training. Uh, you know, it's really affordable, Noki. I mean, that's gluten free, so it's a little bit more expensive, about three pound 50 for 500 grams, but the typical um, gluten-based Noki will be about half the price. Um, so there's 40 grams of carbs in that particular packet, or just over per 100 grams. So I'll do probably the whole pack in two meals, 250 grams plus 250 grams. And that's about 200 grams of carbs. Um, it's a really, really good source of carbohydrates, potato based. Um, and as I said, you know, they do gluten free varieties as well for people that su suffer with uh, gluten intolerances. And you can combine that with any meat um, or any protein source that you wish. Um, I'm having homemade uh, beef meatballs uh, fairly lean, about 5% fat, with some broccoli on the side, uh, with a very nice, tasty, rich tomato sauce, which is homemade. Well, the meatballs are homemade as well. Um, so if you want to see the meatball recipe, then uh, let me know in the comment section. I do like the taste of limes and lemons, so I always use that in um, the baked beans. The baked beans are really good. They're Heinz creations, just like a snazzy uh, baked bean packet. And in the packet, I think there's about 50 grams of carbohydrates, so all in. If I have two baked bean packets and one packet of knocky over the course of a day, spread out into two meals, that's 300 grams of carbohydrates, which is a lot. That's gonna really help me hit my goal of 400. Um, so yeah, it's a really good alternative to more traditional carb sources. It just slips down a tree. It goes down so, so easily. Um, it really is good. I mean, you, you gotta make sure that you drain it. So basically put it in the pan, um, bring the water up to sort of simmering, not quite boiling temperature because it will, you know, splash everywhere. Um, and then just wait till it floats to the top. When it floats to the top, pull it out, drain it off. Otherwise, you'll be left with a horrible watery mess in the bottom of your bowl. Um, so yeah, leave it in a colander or a sieve or something. And you can see how sticky it is. I mean, this gluten-free variation is even stickier than the normal stuff. Uh, it's super sticky. Um, just so squidgy and so easy to eat. Uh, it's really, really good. It's like malt loaf. Malt loaf is another really good go-to. I recommend to all of my clients to help get those carbohydrates up. A super product for high carb dieting. I mean, in my opinion, that there's nothing beats high carb dieting. High to very high carb loads, uh, with moderate amounts of protein and low to moderate fat. And you manipulate that fat um, over time to reduce your body weight, attempting to keep the carbs up as high as you can for as long as you can. You may need to bring them down a little bit. So this is a tasty, wholesome, high carb meal. It takes less than 10 minutes to prepare all in. You know, it really is quite quick indeed. You don't really need any cooking skills to do this either. And um, it's pretty cheap. You know, the whole thing costs you know, a few quid less than that. Um, so yeah, really, really tasty. Give it a go. If you want to see the meatball recipe, then let me know in the comment section below. They're pretty easy as well. Um, in the meantime, take care and I'll see you on the next video. Stay strong.